Yeah, so Elm Island was founded on the belief that RNA interference, this natural endogenous process in all cells that regulates genes, could be harnessed to develop drugs. And RNA, simply put, is the process that regulates proteins. So, so DNA makes RNA, which encodes proteins. RNAi stops the message from being made in the first place and stops protein. So if you can imagine that diseases are caused by too much or too little protein, today's drugs work by binding to protein. So analogy is that if you had a leaky faucet in your kitchen, today's drugs by work by mopping up the floor. With RNAi, we shut off the spigot. So with, with RNAi, we have the potential of, of literally targeting any gene in the genome involved in the cause or pathway of disease. Now, the challenge with RNAi historically has been to get the molecule called an siRNA, that's the molecule that mediates RNAi in the cells, to get that actually into the cytoplasm of the cell was a challenge. We called that challenge delivery. That is getting the siRNA into the cytoplasm of the cells where RNAi is mediated. We solved delivery by using chemistries um, that now deliver exquisitely to the liver and specifically hepatocytes. We call that our Galnac ESC technology. It's a very targeted moiety for liver hepatocytes. That allows us to pursue genetically valid targets that are hepatocyte synthesized. And our platform right now has three strategic therapeutic areas where we're developing drugs. The genetic medicine area, or orphan diseases, the cardiometabolic strategic therapeutic area, and the hepatic infectious disease strategic therapeutic area. So we can apply RNAi to diseases of the thousands, diseases of the millions, and even diseases of the tens of millions at this point.